Right. We have discussed many types of energies and principle of conservation of energy. Now in that, we take one important part of energy, which is mechanical energy. And this is our point of discussion now. <coughs> Mechanical energy. And this is our point of discussion. Mechanical energy broadly classified into two types. One is kinetic energy and other one is potential energy. Now let us discuss about what is kinetic energy. This one. Kinetic energy is the energy generated when there is a body in motion. It's any body which is in motion. Maybe it is vehicle. Maybe you are walking. Maybe you are throwing a ball. You are hitting a ball with a bat. So anything, when the body is in motion, we can say that the body has kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is the energy generated whenever a body is in motion. Body is in motion, then kinetic energy is generated. And kinetic energy depends on mass, which is m, and velocity of the body, m and v. Now, move on to deep into the kinetic energy concepts. Kinetic energy. So I told you that kinetic energy depends upon mass and velocity of the body. How? Let me derive a formula for kinetic energy, then you understand. There is a body whose mass is m and the body started with initial velocity u in this direction and say the body comes to this location whose velocity is v, final velocity is v with the acceleration A and the displacement is S and his body started moving because of the application of force F. This is an assumption because the application of force F body is moved like that. According to kinematic equations, we know a formula V square minus U square equal to 2AS. Now V is the final velocity, U is initial velocity, A is acceleration, S is the displacement. So what you have to do? Now you multiply both sides. Multiply both sides by m by 2. So that equation should not change. Now see what is doing. m by 2, v square minus u square equals to m by 2, 2as. Two Here 2, 2 is cancelled, m by 2 goes inside. You say mv square by 2 minus m u square by 2 equals to m a s. Okay. Now, this m a is nothing but force, is displacement. So, force and displacement is nothing but work done. Already we have learned. Now, see this equation mv square by 2 minus mu square by 2. Suppose, suppose body starts from rest then what happens initial velocity u equal to 0 then this u equal to 0 then we got only mv square by 2 where u equal to 0 so mu square by 2 is 0 so mv square by 2 is equal to work and this is nothing but kinetic energy so kinetic energy formula is mv square by 2 or you can say half mv square and another important point you have to observe here, kinetic energy is also work done. Work, energy both are same. So work and kinetic energy are also same. Okay. Let us apply this formula to solve some numericals. Numerical 1. Find the kinetic energy of a ball. 
of two of two fifty grams mass moving with velocity of forty centimeters per second. This is the question. Now, the first thing this is the mass two fifty grams. Whenever writing 250 grams, immediately convert into SI system. Make a habit. So, how you do? Divide 250 by 1000. Then you will get 0 0.25 kg. 1, 2, 3 decimals. Yes. Next, velocity. V equals to 40 centimeters per second. Convert into SI system. 1 centimeter equal to 10 to the power minus 2 meters. Or divide by 100. Then what you get? 0 0.4 meters per second so you got mass you got velocity you asked to find kinetic energy just now we have derived the formula kinetic energy equal to half m v square so half into mass is 0 0.25 v square is 0 0.4 whole square so half into 0 0.25 into uh, 0 0.16 16 0 0.16 right so 2 1 jar to 0 0.08 jar to 8 jar 16 so so 25 8 jar how much 25 8 8 25 8 jar 200 and how many decimals 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 so the answer is 0 0.02 joules